Hi, I'm Todd Baginski. Thanks for watching the video and welcome to my YouTube channel. I just got back from an awesome family vacation. I was so fortunate I got to go to the beach and the mountains in the same trip. It was so relaxing and a great time. But that's not why I'm making the video today. The reason I'm making the video is once I got back from vacation, I started checking out what happened in Power Apps Land while I was out. What I found was several new features that got dropped and announced at the MBAS Summit. One of those features is the ability to detect if a user is trying to leave your Power App maybe before they saved some data or before they completed a process. And if you detect they're leaving the Power App sooner than you want them to, then you can pop up a message and ask them not to leave. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to configuring a Power App so that you can detect if a user is leaving your Power App and prompt them not to do so if it's not the right time. Let's get started. All right, so this is a really simple concept to demonstrate. It all starts inside of the app confirm exit right here, like this one. So you select app in the tree view inside of your Power App and then pick confirm exit. And by default, when you open up a Power App, this value is gonna be set to false. It's not gonna confirm the exit. So what does that look like? What that looks like is, let me run this Power App here outside of the editor because you can't really test this functionality in the editor. You either have to test it in the web browser or on an iOS or Android device. And here I'm testing in the web browser. So I've got this Power App and it's simulating a very common task in a Power App where you may have a series of screens that are linked together in some sort of wizard fashion. And as you fill out data along the way through the wizard, eventually at the end of the wizard, you're gonna click some button to save all that information somewhere or perform some action based on the information that you filled out in the wizard. And so as we can see here, I've got the wizard screen one and I click next and it goes to another page, wizard screen two. I can click back to go back to screen one, next again to screen two, next to screen three, and then I can finish at this point. This is where I would probably save some data as I did something in my wizard. And then I can see that that process was successfully completed and click on it and go right back to the beginning. Now, what I'd like to show you here is that any point inside of this Power App, no matter which screen I'm on, if I try to close the browser, or if I try to close the tab, or if I was in an iOS or Android device and I tried to switch to another Power App or close the Power App, because I haven't modified this default setting back here of confirm exit, it's false. Don't confirm the exit is what I'm saying by default. If I click this tab, I leave. I can open it back up again. As you saw, there was no confirmation. So let's say I'm like on page three of the wizard. And for some reason, I decide to click up here and leave, but I haven't finished. Oh, I lost all my work. So let's change that. Let's take advantage of this confirm exit here and actually use it. So the way that I'm using it in this example with the wizard here is I'm checking for this global variable called GBL unsaved. And if this is true, then I'm going to return true. Otherwise, I'm going to return false. And what I'm going to use this variable for is controlling do I want to turn on the confirm exit or not? Because there's parts of my app where it's okay to exit it, but there's other parts of this wizard where I don't want the user to exit unless they confirm they want to do so because they could lose some work. So as we look at the app here, we can see that in the on visible method here, 
for my first page of the wizard, wizard screen one, I'm setting global unsaved to true. So I'm basically flagging it at this point to say that someone has entered this screen and I don't want them to leave the app unless they confirm they want to do that. And so as I dance through the app and go from page to page, all that I have on these buttons is navigate statements that take you through the different screens. However, when we actually bounce through to screen two and to screen three, and then we come back to edit mode here, you can see when I finish, I navigate to the wizard completed screen and inside of the wizard completed screen, notice I have that variable set global unsaved to false, back to the default. So essentially what I'm saying is, as somebody has gone through wizard screen one, two, and three, GBL unsaved is true, which means I'm gonna prompt them and say, are you sure you wish to leave the app? But once they get to this screen, it's okay with me if they actually leave and I don't prompt them because I know they've already got done doing what I intended them to do inside of my app. So now that I've made that change back here and I've set confirm exit to if global unsaved true or false, I can now go save and then publish this power app. I can show you how those changes manifest themselves. So we've got that power app published now refresh this page here you see you can see I just did that modified eight seconds ago let's open it up so as we know on this page I've set that value to true which turns on the ability to confirm the exit so if I try to close this browser tab now lo and behold there is the confirmation changes you made may not be saved do you want to leave if I hit leave boom shuts down the power app no problem. Let's load it up again and try again. This time, if I say, do I want to leave? Hit cancel. I'm still on the power app. So now I can go to page two. Let's say I do something on wizard screen two here, and then but I leave before I complete the wizard. Nope. I still got my confirmation here. I can now go over to page three. Is page three going to work? If you've been paying attention, you knew it wasn't. Now, finally, when I go to the next page, because in my on start back here, I've set that value to false, I'm not checking anymore. And if I hit the X button here, I do exit the power app. So that's how you can use the confirm exit capability inside of a power app to make sure your users don't leave when you don't want them to. The other thing that you can do, and this is again back on the app level here, is you have this other property here called confirm exit message. And if you put a value inside of this confirm exit message here, and then you run your power app, that value is supposed to control this text right here. This is a default value that we're getting when we don't set that property. So if you put in your own value, it should save the text and display that <coughs> right here. But what I have found out in my testing today is if I go ahead and put this in here, please don't go, and I save and I publish my Power App, I'm not seeing that message pop up in here just yet today. So. I've reached out to the folks on the Power Apps team about it, and I bet by the time you see this video, unless you watch it today or tomorrow, this will probably be fixed. So we can demonstrate here by coming back to the Power App, opening up again here, and then when I go to exit, notice the text that I put in has not been displayed but the default text has still. So that's just a little bug in there and uh, hopefully we'll see this get fixed real soon. The other thing to point out about how you can use this confirm exit, and this is also probably a very common use case, is what people would see uh, in a scenario where they were filling out a form. So for example, if I make a new power app here, 
and I make a new Canvas Power App. And what I'm going to do is just create one that automatically has a form filled out for me. So I'm going to pick a phone layout here from SharePoint and connect myself to a SharePoint site. And I've got a nice Power Apps demo site right here and a couple demo lists. I've got an expenses list I'm going to connect to. And this is going to make my classic three page power app where I have the page that allows me to view all the items in this data source. I have another page that allows me to look at them and the detail for them. And I have another which allows me to delete them or edit them or update them. Uh, essentially, in this type of scenario, and they point this out in the Power App team blog, I see this being another very common scenario, is how can you make sure that if somebody is editing one of these items on this page in the Power App, but they haven't saved their changes yet, that you want to use that confirm exit confirmation uh, dialog? Well, the best way to do that and they point it out on the blog, it's very easy. Find the name of your form. In this case, it's edit form one. And then go back in the app area to confirm exit and change this to edit form one, if I spell it right, turn time's a charm. There we go, dot unsaved. So now confirm exit is set to the edit form one unsaved property. That means that if this form is dirty and somebody is in the middle of editing it and then they try to exit the power app before they save it or exit, that means the power app will prompt them to say, are you sure you wish to leave? So that's another very common scenario where you can use this as well. Another thing that you could do is you could actually, inside of confirm exit, you could use all kinds of different variables. You could use like edit form one dot unsaved, or you could look for a global variable here, or maybe you have another edit form or something else inside of your app. So there's all kinds of ways that you can control to use confirm exit based on out of the box properties like this one and also based on global properties, like I'm setting here, and then referencing back inside of the actual confirm exit, exit uh, logic here. So hopefully this gives you some great ideas on how you can use this inside of your own Power Apps to make sure that people are happy with your Power App and they don't accidentally leave too soon. Thanks again for watching the video. I hope it comes in really helpful for you as you build your own power apps. Please go hit that subscribe button so I can keep the videos coming. It really helps me out. If you'd like to work together sometime, check me out over at canvas.com. We work together with people we meet on YouTube for my videos all the time. And what I bet you're really interested in is down here. More videos about power apps and other technology. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.